what does these stories tell us whatever your relationship whatever your equation is with other people you should always remain righteous understood whatever you you like or dislike or you are enemy or a friend but you should always be righteous these great gems of lessons the great lessons are given by great scriptures so if we understand these things it purifies you inside out total purification and this will when you are purified you are empty when you are empty what fills into you god fills into you you become one with god what is god consciousness the unit dissolves and becomes universe this is what happens Ram went into the forest for many years went through tremendous turbulences was cool was cool about it he faced it and he became victorious but after victory also he did not have a proper smooth life what does that prove accept life as it comes you can overcome it if you accept life as it happens you can overcome it this is the message this is the message and also remember extreme righteousness at play in ramayan rama's story extreme righteousness right what is righteousness everything has respect in in built you look at every relationship of the even relationship between ram and ravan there is respect one is a hero or avatar one is not an avatar and fully occupied with worldly existence but both respected each other ravan respected ram ram respected ravan so uh, ravan kidnapped the wife of ram and ram is going to win her back rescue her back ram was in the forest he did not have an army he did not have any support to go and attack go for a war so he gathered various tribes tribe tribes forest tribes you know vanara sena and went ahead to search for his wife and where is his wife across the ocean in sri lanka not easy to reach there you know but he found his way and he so before he re, before he was about to cross the ocean wise men told him you can't go wage a war with a great opponent who have great army without the grace of lord without the grace of god and ram was worshiping lord shiva right shiva so somebody has to please him who is eligible to please shiva somebody who is deeply connected to shiva not just an ordinary priest many people worship but not connect i repeat many people are worshiping but not connecting if you are connecting then the deity speaks to you you know the guru talks to you if you are connected connecting properly so who is the most eligible person to win the grace of shiva ravan ravan is the opponent but he is connected to shiva very deeply so they decided to invite ravan to do a homa for the victory of ram to fight against ravan can you believe this ultimate righteousness ultimate act of righteousness and ravan has kidnapped the wife of ram ram is going to secure her back and the homa the fire ceremony has to be done for the victory of ram by whom ravan who has kidnapped his wife <laughs> is it complicated but this is the this is the truth this is the righteousness and then ravan is a king king cannot say no also he is a brahmin priestly class they cannot say no so when they when 
people went and asked him would you like to come can you come to do a fire ceremony for the victory of ram who will kill you <laughs> ravan said i'll come he said i'll come he cannot say no he said he will come he came but he said one thing how can i do a ceremony when the husband does not have a wife wife is with me <laughs> you know you can't do a ceremony if the husband and wife are not sitting together as per the custom so how can i do a ceremony i have kid the wife right <laughs> wife is sitting here so <laughs> so he they agreed that he said i'll bring the wife but on one condition i'll bring her back again i will bring her for the ceremony but after the ceremony i'll get her back then you come and fight me <laughs> see huh <laughs> so agreed this was agreed ravan brought the wife sita for the ceremony she sat next to ram they did the ceremony very well he he did not cheat on it he did the he performed the ceremony as a proper priest very well shiva appeared blessed for the victory of ram you know and everything went well then ram said see when when somebody performs something for you you have to give dakshina offer something offer something so ram asked him what can i offer you so ravan said nothing you do not have anything you are actually a poor man you are you don't even have a kingdom i have a kingdom i have anything money everything money can buy so whatever you are offering is nothing for me you can't offer me anything then ram wanted to offer something then he said okay i ask you one thing at the time of my death you should be with me just imagine you know ravan said god is pleased you will become victorious you will fight me you will kill me at the time of my death i want you to be with me this is a proper investment he is a very smart man an avatar standing next to you at the time of death ensuring moksha this is guarantee you see ram is a proper avatar which ravan knows very well and i think he kidnapped sita to ensure this <laughs> that at the time of his death ram is standing next to him which happened actually in the war ram defeated ravan and when Ra- ravan was dying ram was there when an avatar is standing next to you your whole karma is deleted life is done what you cannot attain through thousands of years of penance you can attain with a simple truth simple thing the presence of an avatar in your life so ram is a villain or a smart man very clever very smart so this is righteousness what does these stories tell us whatever your relationship whatever your equation is with other people you should always remain righteous understood whatever you you like or dislike or you are enemy or a friend, but you should always be righteous these great gems of lessons the great lessons are given by great scriptures so if we understand these things it purifies you inside out total purification and this will when you are purified you are empty when you are empty what fills into you god fills into you god fills into you you become one with god what is god consciousness the unit dissolves and becomes universe the unit dissolves becomes universe this is what happens so there are so many guarantees we can have in our life provided provided we know the track instead if you are looking for money property wealth you will get it you will definitely where you park your mind that's what you will get if you are looking at relationships money property you will get it but that's all temporary consciousness is permanent if you attain that in this existence you are guaranteeing no more existence in the loop of pattern loops of pattern same thing repeated over lifetimes this ends here because an avatar 
ensures liberation that's what ravan did he's a very smart cookie very people look at him as a demon but but look at how he works very intelligent man if he invites ram you come to sri lanka and have a beer with me he ram may not come so he kidnapped his wife <laughs> guaranteed he will come <laughs> you see right jai shri ram jai